It's billed as a finish for your home that's easy to clean and stands up to a scrubbing. That's the promise from a popular paint maker. But you're going to need plenty of patience and elbow grease. That's why consumer reporter Steve Noviello enlisted the help of summer interns for this week's Deal or Dud test. Because I'm the only paint primer in one with easy wash formula. It's the can of coating with a colossal claim. Despite your day's design, Olympic One paint is advertised to be easy to wash and even stands up to 1,500 scrubs. Finding supplies on store shelves, no problem. But where to find a team with enough time? How do you do it? And tolerance. Yeah, this is my first time painting. To paint a wall, then test that claim by scrubbing the surface 1,500 times. Good thing it's never imagine this. <laughs> summer intern season. I imagine that I'd be going out with reporters on their stories and stuff like that. But let's be honest, today Fox 4 News interns Kylie Walker and Kaylin Jackson are learning a life skill. When you're making $12,000 a year in Missouri at your first reporting job, you're going to have to paint your own apartment. And you're going to say, thank God I spent the day with Steve Noviello. I will always thank Steve Noviello. Now that we're clear on the process, there's something you should know about the product. Despite no mention in the ad, according to Olympic, any painted surface has to cure a full 30 days before it can be washed. A detail we discovered only when we called their PR team. So with painting complete, one month later, we have some crayons here. We divide our fully cured surface in two and attempt to replicate what we saw on TV. Remember, the scrubbing claim is... Uh, 1,500 times, so... <laughs> but here's the catch. Unlike the swift swipe in the ad, our marks take far more effort to remove. Probably about a good 30, 35 times, maybe, just for that one number. So to be fair, we do the math... Take some real elbow grease. ...and get to work. My arm hurts right now. Not on 1,500 marks. You never know what you're going to get. But on 1,500 scrubs. The surface seems to respond better to a dry cloth as opposed to a sponge like you see on TV. We initially tried soap in a sponge as suggested by the company, which barely worked at all. Maybe it's the wax coating in the crayons? We chose crayons because in the video, that's what they were using. But the real stamina here is our interns, who even when provoked... So you're not going to say nothing bad about Naviello? Of course not. What do you think about Naviello making you do this? I think that he's awesome for giving us this opportunity to work on Dealer Dud. Kept their cool, because truth be told, this indoor assignment is easy street. Because I had to run from... Here, over to the Earl Cavill Federal Building, then back here, and then to a live truck. No car, no nothing. Back to our task, it's 1,500 scrubs later. And while a ketchup mark we made was easy to wipe away, our crayon test, well... Didn't go away as much as the video that we saw showed. The folks at Olympic tell us the higher the sheen of the product, the better the washability. Again, not something pointed out in the ad. We used the most common finish, satin. And while the paint certainly stood up, we saw plenty of ghosting of our marks, which left us with mixed results. The painting part is good. There were no scratches or chits or anything, but as far as the cleaning, you think it would be a little bit easier to clean the surface. Did I miss? Did you see it? <laughs> Stands up to scrubbing? Yes. Easy to clean? Not when it comes to crayon. So a split decision this week. You can decide for yourself right now when you check out the claims straight from the manufacturer. A link to do so is on our station website, fox4news.com. I'm Steve Noviello. That's my two cents. Spend it wisely.